Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And look, we have new Game of Thrones stuff. Okay. Look, I'm John. Hold I'm the John. door. Ho- hold, hold, the, hold the door. Hold the door. And then we've got a zombie mountain. <laughs> this is our spoiler review of the latest episode of the Game of Thrones called Beyond the Wall. Beyond the Wall. Because a bunch of idiots went north of the wall. Because <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let's just get into it because I have a lot I want to say, but not as we go along. So, uh, okay, my nerves are not very good right now. I'm just saying <laughs> it was it was an show. emotional. It was an emotional episode. show. Gee, many cry me, my heart can't take it if they're going to keep doing that. To... <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, you've been warned. Okay, okay, there we go. Go. Right. Uh, so they started with um king's landing the the opening the opening segment thing credits. the opening credits that's it the opening yeah yeah so they went king's landing uh dragonstone winterfell the wall wall east watch citadel C- uh old town old town right so so that's different yeah right? yeah uh, the iron clad I don't remember the name of the island. Anyway, that's gone. That's gone, and they went from straight from the wall to Iron to Eastwatch, yeah. Instead of going down to Winterfell and over, yeah. That was kind of an interesting, yeah. Because yeah. it's Game of Thrones. Every time they do the opening, it's it's different every time. So right. that was kind of one of the things we were looking at because we're getting there. <laughs> Got to pay attention. That yeah. Um. So they it opened with the map. I'm s- the map table. I'm still not sure what that was all about. At Dragonstone, yeah, I don't, I yeah. don't know. It was and they started from the south, and panned the camera yeah. up like towards the north. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe that was like a little foreshadowing. It was, and it was interesting that they went like we made a point of checking out the the opening and how the the, the intro of the map had changed, and then they went to the shot of the map. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Because Game of Thrones, everything means something, right? Okay, so <laughs> right. Um, so, uh, uh, what are we calling them? John and his merry band of men. <laughs> the Suicide Squad. The su- suicide Squad. We, it's been all over the internet about what the different Snow Patrol, Snow Patrol, <laughs> Suicide Squad, um, John and his merry men, um. Magnificent Seven. Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> so they've gone beyond the wall, um, and there's a lot of conversations. So the one thing I noticed about this episode was there was no um, no scenes took very long. They were all very short, right? Back right. and forth, and, and very short. So that was. That was interesting. And so this first one, John and Tormund are talking. And Tormund basically tells John um, to bend the knee. I, uh, he, he, talk, he, he talked about how, uh, uh, what was the? Mancerator. Mancerator was our leader of, of the wildlings. The wildlings. Yeah. And, and he was the one who was kind of like the stubborn wouldn't bend the knee and it caused a lot of our people to die yeah. at the hands of your people and it didn't make any sense maybe he should have bent the knee and maybe he should have been a little bit more com- uh, complacent is not the right word but that's kind of what I'm going yeah. and and John kind of did the whole look at Tormon like like are you telling me what I think you're telling me <laughs> uh, and then John attempts to give Dora Long claw back. Um, there's a little bit of an exchange, and Dora says, "No, it's it's for you and your children." He also made the point of saying, um, "It has a white wolf on it now, but it had a bear on it before." John did. John did. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then and then Jorah telling him at the end, um, pretty much this is for you and your kids. Was I, I turned to her and I'm, I'm like, "Jorah's dead." But that's it. We all knew somebody was going to die in this freaking idiot whatever thing that they're going to do. And I, I, as soon as they did that, Jorah gave up the sword, gave up his rights to it, to John. 
Yeah, I mean, I think that he had given that up in his mind a long time ago. Right. So right. it really wasn't a, a big deal, but um, kind of thinking about it right now, there was a lot of talk about kids in this episode. Yes, there was. Yes, that there was. Yes, that there was. The dragons are her kids, that John needs to give the sword to There's the whole kids. conversation that Tyrion had with Danny about succession. succession. Yep. Lots of talk about kids. Hmm. Don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Um, uh-oh. Uh, so then we go, like I said, very short back and forth. Lots of back and forth. So There's a lot of scenes in this episode. Yeah. And it was yeah. uh, 75 minutes. Yeah, it was, so it was, it was, it was like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Um, so we're at Winterfell. Um, Arya tells Sansa about shooting the arrow with the target that her, her father and Bran, you know, she would watch them, watch her father working with the boys, basically. Right. Um, you know, and, and shooting archery. And, uh, and she knew that she couldn't participate because she was a girl. And they left, and Brandon left his bow, and there was one arrow left in the target, and so she went down there and um, shot the arrow over and over and over and over again until she finally uh, got a bullseye, and uh, and then she heard clapping, <laughs> and she looked up, and her father had been standing there on the on the balcony, um, watching, watching the whole watching the whole thing, and yeah. and also not stopping her right and that was the, that was kind of the more important thing at least for me was that he didn't stop her he let her learn work through it whatever you want however you want to look at right it. Yeah. right and so then after telling her the, the story she reads her the uh, the raven the message the, 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 yeah the, the she, scroll that she got from one finger from yeah from yeah. fingers um bed and uh so there's a, there's some back and forth. Sansa's like, well, you don't know, why, you know, what I've been through, and and Arya's like, you don't know what I've been through, and and uh, Arya, you know, basically throws their dad's death in Sansa's face, which this has been, you know, five six seasons. Right. They in, built in up the to building. it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that Arya's wanted to, you know, throw that in Sansa's face. So. Um, she got to, but, you know, she's telling her all about when their dad died. Right. And, and Sansa's like, you know, you were there? And, and she's like, yeah, you know, I was in the crowd. So then Sansa throws it back in Arya's face. You're blaming me because I didn't do anything. Well, you didn't do anything either. You were standing there the whole time and just witnessed it. You didn't do anything about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. well, I, I couldn't. So, um. So, yeah, kind of a little bit of sisterly. I, the, the, there's another scene that comes up with them later on. But, yeah. but that scene for me was um, it, outside of the show. I really like that scene because you could definitely tell that the two of them have a really good um, relationship with each other because they were able to go kind of back and forth really quick. Mm -hmm. It might have been the editing or whatever, but they were there was a chemistry between the two of them. They would actually like pull off of each other mm -hmm. in that scene that mm -hmm. that really like gave it weight because we've talked about the time travel thing in the show before about it's really hard to kinda of explain how long things have been. So we don't yeah. know how long this has really been building yeah. up since they've all been at Winterfell together. But in the grand scheme of things, um you could definitely tell the anger that Arya had. And then Sansa had, yeah, it's it, yeah, it, it's been, it built yeah, up and stuff up, like that. Yeah. But that yeah. that 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 connection that they have, the two of them have outside of the show, really showed in that scene. At least for me. I mean, there's a more important scene I think later on. But that was the scene, at least acting wise, where I was like, okay, the two of them really could like just the the buddy cop show. The two of them would be awesome. <laughs> that was just me. <laughs> well, and so. Um... Arya did kind of, you know, ask Sansa why 
are you so concerned with? Uh, Sansa was like, you know, you can't let anybody know about this. And, and Arya's like, why? Because right. if you say anything to John, he's just going to be like, oh, you were a little girl. You didn't, you know, you didn't know that there's right. nobody to hold this over you. And she figures out that the Lords of the North are who Sansa is worried about, which is something that uh, is going to continue on. I don't know. It has to do with kind of her power play, and she really wants the position that John has, And but can she get the trust of right, right. the Lords of the North? And she actually has a conversation with Littlefinger a little bit later about you can't trust them because they they were against John, and then they were right. for John, John, and now they're the, against him again. And right, right. So, so. Which is, you know, what angle is Littlefinger playing there? I mean, I don't, I don't understand what Littlefinger is playing. I don't know. Anyway. What angle is Littlefinger ever playing? His um, own. <laughs> his own, definitely. So, back to the wall. Um, and now we have Tormund and the Hound um, having a conversation. Because it's a long way, so everybody's got to have these little conversations. And, uh, walks up to the hound and he's like you're the one they call the dog <laughs> and and the hound probably calls him a cunt because like, this is his favorite word um, and, and he's like I don't like gingers <laughs> they're just like I was touched by fire is what Tormund said to him oh yeah yeah I, I was yeah. I've been touched by fire just like you and he just was like, like to touch him and he's like yeah. no, no, no 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 don't be touching me <laughs> um and then Tormund starts, you know, well, I'll have you know, or he, he says, what do you want to suck my dick? The hound says that to Tormund. And he's like, dick? And he's like, the hound's like, cock. And he's like, oh, I like that. I like dick, yeah, I like dick. And he's like, <laughs> so then Tormund's like, I'll have you know I have a beauty waiting for me back in Winterfell. And, uh, you know, she's tall and blonde and good with a sword. And the hound's like, Brand? <laughs> it's my favorite exchange of the whole episode. It was the two of them talking about Brand. <laughs> You've been with Brand? No, not yet. <laughs> but, not like that. <laughs> it was great, great. Yeah. Uh, he says, I want to make babies with her. Another reference to, to kids. I want to make giant babies giant with her. Babies giant with her. babies, yes, yes. That was awesome. Uh, yeah. Um, and so this is, everybody is building friendships, right? Right. Because you're, you're, you're on a, it's an hour road trip movie. Because they're all, build, right. they're all building up their friendships with right. each other. And they're all, there's a bunch of them there that don't really want to be there with the other people. So they have to build some kind of friendship with each other so that way when the big battle comes in like five minutes um that they actually care for each other and you actually believe that they actually want to help save each save other, each other. Right. yeah right yeah and uh Beric and john talk about dying and that they're they both died before and uh Beric said six times yeah uh, he's been resurrected six, six times. times yeah yep. yeah and that john kind of made a comment too of i don't believe in your your God, your God, your, your God, God of light, light, yeah, whatever it is, and and Beric was making a point of saying it doesn't matter. Yeah, but we're soldiers in this war. It doesn't matter if you believe in that God or not. Right, we're still both here. So yeah, I was. And, uh, and he brought you back. Yeah. Whether you believe in him or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's again something important I think for later on. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Um. So then we go to Dragonstone and during uh Tyrion and. Danny are talking about John <laughs> and how he was making eyes at her or whatever. Yes. So now they, in this episode, they were much more blatant about the fact that there is something there. Right. I mean, up until now, there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of fan speculation, but not anything like overt. And and it was it, it was, was very overt in this in this episode. Yeah. And it has been very subtle and kind of wink and nod. But this one, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. It, it just threw it in your face. This Tyr time. Yeah, Tyrion came right out. And yeah, said, you know, yeah. he's like making eyes at you, and she's like, he's too small for me. <laughs> so Tyrion, not like that. <laughs> Although I like Tyrion's comment about how. 
um, Jora and um, Drago and like they've all fallen in love with her and John. He like he added yeah. John in that list yeah. too about yeah. how they all have fall, fallen in love with you. And that's when she was like, no, 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 we're we're, we're related. And this is yeah. how she said, but she was kind of like that. You know, I never felt that way about him. No, no, no. no. Was that was that was kind of a nice little touch. And, and then, yeah, and then he was like, oh, I've seen him making eyes at you. Yeah, yeah. Um. So then Tyrion kind of approaches her about um, Various and him had the, had the talk um, last episode about you need to kind of get her under control. And so Tyrion's talking to her about you need to be calm during these talks that, you know, they're with, all going to... With Cersei. Yeah, they're all going to yeah. go to King's Landing and have this big, um, you know... Uh, Pow wow. Pow wow. Yeah, I was, I was G4 sure to, Summit. G4, G4 yeah, Summit. Yeah, G4 <laughs> Summit. And uh, the G. Wait, one, two, three. It might be the G3 Summit. G, well. Because there's, there's going to be a couple others in there, I think. Winterfell, King's Landing, Dragons, Dragons, and the G3 Summit. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, so, you know, he. he He's like, don't be impulsive. And she's like, what have I ever been impulsive? And he's like, um, burning the Charlies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he called he called her hot-headed. Or, or short-tempered. It was something like it was short-tempered. And, and, like, she's, like, I, like making a point of, like, I've never been short-tempered. Yeah. I've always been, like, kind of thought about. And he's like, well, there was this time and this time and this time. And then he burned the Charlies. And, and I even like the way he kind of approached it, too, with saying maybe burning... Um, Daddy Tolly was probably totally, was probably the the probably the right thing to do, but maybe after some time in the in the hole, essentially, yeah, yeah. But burning him and the son together. Yeah, I mean, basically, yeah. he was telling her, you know, um, once you go there, you there's no place else to go. Right, right. Don't go all the way to the extreme because then there's there's right. nowhere else to go. Right. Exactly. Um, so kind of, you know, work your way up there. Right. So, um, uh, let's see. And then, and then they have the conversation about succession, right? That, that have you thought about who's going to rule the Iron Throne, you know, after, after you? you? Yeah. And, um, you know, they have this whole, you know, she's like, I can't have kids, you know that, and he's like, well, I'm just trying to think about the long term, and she's like, well, if, you know, maybe you should think more about the short term, because if you did, maybe we wouldn't have lost the tiger. So, right. So, short temper. <laughs> right, it was kind of a subtle way, but it, it's, it's, it's an important conversation that for them to be having, and she doesn't want to have it yet, because she doesn't have the throne. Yeah. And she even made a point of yeah. saying, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about this after I have the throne. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then we go back behind the wall, and <laughs> we have undead bears. We have fire swords. Fire swords. <laughs> uh, they get attacked by an undead bear. Uh, the bear attacks Thoros. Jorah saves Thoros, sort of. I mean, he's not dead. Um, right. He gets bitten or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and um, so, and the Hound basically just sat there. Oh. He kind of freaked out because when they lit up the sword, when uh, it, the other one with the eye patch, I can't remember his name right now. I'm thinking about it. Um, but he he um. We had a written now. Beric. Beric. When Beric lit up the sword, he attacked the the undead polar bear and uh, you know set it on fire. On fire yeah. And the hound kind of just like stood there and freaked out. Yeah. And then like turned away. Yeah. And and, and it was it was. Yeah. He just he froze. He, he completely and froze do in, in the fight. Yeah. 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 But nobody addressed it. No. Because well, I mean, half his face is burned. So. Right. But I mean. I, I would think it's. I would think at least 
and not that we have time for it or whatever because it's so close to the end, but I think at least somebody would come over and say, are you okay? Or, you know, what were you thinking? Or he's whatever. He's, I, an, he's an ass. I, I, that, that's true. Nobody cares. That's true. That's true. He's there because he's good. He has to be. Yeah. Um, so then they go back to Winterfell and uh, Sansa. This one was kind of a weird little scene. Sansa confides in Littlefinger um, that Arya found the letter. And, you know, he, he like, instead of kind of playing on Sansa's side, he plays more the on Arya's side. Right. Like, she's your sister, and you guys will have stats, right. but right. she's still family. Right, right. Not at all what I was expecting. Yeah, I, I, don't, to know. Do there. I, I don't know what Littlefinger's doing. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it'll come out at some point in time. And then, well, and then he says maybe Brienne can help because she's sworn to protect, to protect both. both of you. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so then. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, it was a weird scene. I don't, yeah. I, it was a weirdly placed scene with everything else that was going on in this episode. Yeah. The other argument with Arya and Sasa earlier made sense, with, but this one was like a kind of a. It'll get explained. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Well, and then there's a scene a little later that maybe that's connected to. But um, then we go back behind the wall again. Uh, the, one of the things I wanted to point out with this episode too was was the back a lot of the back and forth. You know, yeah. we kind of talked about it already, but they're they're north of the wall, and then they're at yeah. Dragonstone, and then they're north of the wall, and then they're at Winterfell, and then they're north of the wall, and then they're at the and then they're north of the wall. So it was a lot of instead because when they showed the preview. You thought everything was going to be about everything going on north of the wall. Yeah. That's you know, the only thing that's going on right now. Yeah. Although yeah. we didn't see King's Landing at all this this no. episode. So. No. But according to the previews, we'll see it a lot next oh, yeah. episode. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so then they find uh, uh, some like a, a line, a small group of undead and scouts. Scouts, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. and a White Walker. Um, so they're, you know, hey, here's our chance, and and so they build a little fire, and so set a trap, set a trap. They came up, came upon it, and they, there was a little bit of a fight, and John kills the um, White Walker with the Valerian right, sword, steel, yeah. and it basically just turns into a pile of snow, and all the undead fall down, um, and uh, except one, and. And I was saying, I was like, why? I, what happened? And I think you said uh, it must be the one that they turned or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then they say that later. Later on, yeah. Um, somebody asked John or whatever, is, why did they all fall down or whatever. Right. And he said, right. I think it's probably the one they turned. And then they looked at the, um, the Night King and, you know, they were like, so if we... We should kill him because then, yeah. he made all of them. Yeah. So once you kill him, they're all going to go down. So, so apparently that's that's the deal. So they get one, but it screams like a little fucking girl, and <laughs> and so now all the other undead, you know, come running. So now they're being chased by a million. The, the whole undead, undead army. I mean, the whole, they were all just coming full speed. Yeah, they're coming yeah. after him. So they send um, Gendry uh, to, back to the wall to send a raven. He, like, tell Davos to send a raven to Danny that we need reinforcements. And Gendry's like, I'm not leaving you. And it's like, yes, you are. You're the fastest. You know, you're a bunch of, bunch of old guys. And, and me and you, you need to go. And <laughs> so they send Gendry off, and they all run across the lake, the frozen lake. Frozen so like to a island like or a island or middle, it, yeah. it, it, I'm assuming it would be an island, but it was like this rock outcove and they ran into that. Yeah. And uh, and the ice was cracking and stuff when they ran out onto it. And so they kind of figured out to they they were able to break it and kind of do a, a moat right. <laughs> right around them or whatever, um, so that they or safe yeah, for, yeah, well, for a while. The undead kind of encircled the pond, 
lake, whatever it is. Yeah. And then they all started advancing forward in this this circular mode, pretty much broke up the ice breaking and everything, and a bunch of them fell in, yeah. and then they stopped. And so, look, now we're stuck on this island, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> surrounded by thousands and thousands of the other dead. And we have to wait for reinforcements. We have to wait for reinforcements. Oh, by the way, it's fucking freezing, yeah. and we have no fire and no water and no food. Yeah. And, yeah, so... Um, apparently ravens are fast. Uh, apparently. <laughs> because there's been other times when ravens have taken way longer. So they had to get gentry from from the initial fight to the wall. He collapses at the wall. Yep. Like you were going to get into this. Yep. So he collapses at the wall. Um, Davos, the Davos yeah, comes, yeah, out, and yeah. comes out and says, what's going on? They get the maester. They send a raven to Danny it, <laughs> again with the time travel. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, and that was a pretty blatant one because I mean, it was basically a day because yeah. they wake up the next morning on the island. Yeah, and uh, Thoros is dead. So whether he succumbed to his wounds or just froze to death. Right. Right. Um, overnight, we don't know, but but now that he's he's dead, which means that um, Beric is out of lives because <laughs> Thoros is the one that kept bringing him back. Yep. Um, so that's not happening anymore. Well, and, and I like I like Thoros's comment. Not, uh, Beric's comment there is everything comes to an end. Yeah. You know, and they were kind of like talking about how he, you know, he, you know, you can't regenerate. You know. Um, <laughs> And, but he but he makes a point of like if it's time to go it's time to go you know it was, it was okay all right but yeah I had a pro that was the one time I've been like super like yeah that was basically yeah, not even a day. yeah I, I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a pass but that's that's pretty blatant. yeah it's pretty blatant. <laughs> that's fucking right. yeah um. So then the scene that we were talking about um, with Sansa, she gets a raven that she needs to go to King's Landing, right? Because they're doing the, the G3. And uh, she's like, I'm not going. And, and Brienne's there. And she's like, you can't go. It's too dangerous. And she's like, right, I'm, I'm not going. You're going. And and Brienne's like, I, I can't leave you. I, I'm, I have to protect you. And Sansa's like, nope, you're, you're going and you better you better get on the road if you're going to get there. Fields is a son of a bitch. Yeah, but so is she sending her away so that she's not in the way of her attacking Arya? What? what I, I, I don't I, Is this little finger I, her this about. was another one of those parts in this episode where where I was not really sure what's going on there there has been nothing up to this point until she gets the raven to go to King's Landing there's been no hint of her being talked about going un unless I missed it I mean, unless I missed it and the, and and this they're isolating Sasa away from everyone else. They're pushing Arya away. They're pushing Brienne away. Yeah. John's gone. She, she doesn't, doesn't really have the little fingers doing. She doesn't really have the the council of the heads of the different households at well. She's at, so it's like it's almost the isolation of her by herself. So she's gonna make some decision somewhere down the line where next season when they're having this G4 summon or whatever and she's going to have to make some decision and it's going to be the wrong decision and they're going to have her take the blame I don't know I, I just, but yeah, it's, or, it's, well her little finger is just going to keep talking in her ear right? Um, because nobody else is there to protect her I just don't understand why she would think that that was a good idea to send Brienne to King's Landing I, <laughs> why I, she kind of made a point of I'm never going back there as long as Cersei's on the on the throne. But I, but it was still a little weird of a of a con. I, I, don't, I don't know. It just there's so much other stuff that happened in this episode that that was one of the, another one of those scenes where I was like, I don't understand. I, yeah. I have to watch it again to see yeah. it. Um. So then <laughs> we we're 
Rebecca Dragonstone, Danny's gotten this super lightning fast raven, <laughs> and she's <laughs> getting on the dragon. Teleport in his real fantasy world. <laughs> right. Um, she's getting on the dragons to, to go, and Tyrion's trying to talk her out of it, and you can't, you know, the same same thing he did the last time. Yep. Um, and, you know, she's like... Tyrion is not wrong. He's he's not, but this is the only way that she's going to win. Lead, she wants to lead from the front, and everybody else is trying to get her to not lead from the front. Right. But they're her dragons. Right. She's, she's got to. Right. And then he, you know, he says, if you die, all is lost. Yeah. I mean, he's almost in tears, and she, it's I think Tyrion loves her, too. <sighs> anyway, uh, she's cool. She's not that cool. Uh, apparently, maybe it's maybe it stings. <laughs> Sorry, inside joke. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, so now we're back on the island <laughs> of despair. <laughs> of despair, <laughs> and the hound, for some stupid ass reason, decides to start throwing rocks at the undead. It, it's like he's like the poor, he's like the the bored kid at the party, you know. <laughs> or he's freaking uh, who was it? Uh, Mary or Pippin in Lord of the Rings? Just oh, yeah. throwing rocks into the, in the well, <laughs> into, the, into the lake and stuff. Uh, uh, you're so, a dummy. Yeah. So he throws rocks at him and pisses him off, and so now they all come charging after him again. Yeah. Um. I guess they, you know, because it's been overnight, so now the lake is frozen. Again, so or, or, or or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, so they all start running after him, and they're fighting, 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 and Jorah saves John, and uh, the Hound saves Tormund, Tormund, and it's it's starting to look pretty bleak. John calls for a retreat. To where? where? <laughs> where you and he go? back they back up to the top of the thing, and he, John turns around just like this. Vertical drop down, and and the undead are piling themselves up to kind of walk work yeah. their way up. And John just has this moment of like, and we're fucked. <laughs> and then da, 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 dragons, dragons, and dra actually it was a really cool scene because the way they shot it, John is standing there, and uh, he looks down and he sees the undead kind of working their way up, and he turns around and he looks at Jorah. And George is like in this, like, all right, boss, what are we doing? And turns back around. And he's, he's, he's fighting, and John's like looking around, and he's noticing how surrounded they are. And he turns back around, and Torment's in there, and Torment's, you know, gashed all up and almost gotten killed like 15 times. My heart can't take it, by the way, when freaking John, when Torment or John gets in bad, bad shape. And, and they, they, they're, it's like, he's, a, but it's all, you know, they're in the north, so it's all, um, very dark and snowy and blue tones, and then all of a sudden, John's face lights up, and he, he does this, and he goes Whoop, and ducks, and the fire <laughs> flies over his head, and it starts they start burning all the undead that come up the vertical face. It was just a great shot. Like this, like, <laughs> I'm like doing the whole. <laughs> Where's the dragons? Where's the dragons? <laughs> it was just a great shot of how how they. How the light change? Well, the light change was the first thing. Yeah. And they kind of showed that the fire was coming, and then, yeah. and then the duck and stuff. That was, that was a really cool scene. Um. So yeah, so the dragons take out a lot of them, a lot of the undead, and the what was it the Night King grabs a spear, a javelin, javelin, something like that. Yeah. Ice. Yeah. And throws it and hits one of the dragons, not Dragon, right. but but one of the two smaller ones, and and kills it. It it goes down, it goes into the lake, and it goes Breaks under. Breaks the ice and stuff. Yeah. And uh, so and it, they're trying to get everybody up on Dragon. Um, with, by the way, one of the undead with them. Yeah. They still have the undead all tied up and stuff yeah. with the hood on. Yeah. yeah. So, they actually, like, I don't remember who it was that had it, but he shoved it on <laughs> one, one of the spikes. <laughs> spikes to hold on to it. And, uh, I forgot about that. And John's, you know, 
down there going, I, I don't know why he just doesn't get on the freaking dragon. Because he's clearing a path for everybody else to get on. Because it's John. John. And go. He's my guy, I mean, obviously, but I mean, come on. Fuck it, John. Just go. So. His moral compass is way the wrong direction. Well, he's way the right direction. Well, okay. He has no self-preservation skills yeah. at all. Yeah. Like, zero. <laughs> yeah. So, now the, the the Night King is picking up another one, or, or one of the uh, White Walkers, whatever. They, they grab another one, and they're getting ready to throw it at Dragon. And John's like, go, 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 go. So, Danny takes off with everybody but John. John's still down there fighting, and uh, the ice breaks, and, and some of the undead come up and pull him Ground down or something like that, yeah. into the water, and the Night King throws the spear javelin thing, <laughs> and, and it misses, um, and they, they manage to get off, but now John's sinking. sinking. Last, this last shot in the show is John sinking. And now we're in water again. Lots of water. Again with Jamie sinking. That was yeah. the last shot. Yeah. And we and that's why I thought they were gonna leave. I did too. That, like that, and, I did too. Yeah, like you know the symbolism of Jamie fall, you know, sinking. And now John yeah. sinking. Last yeah. battle with the dragon. Uh, yeah. And, 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 and this and battle with the dragon. And, and I actually would have been way okay with that. I would have been screaming on the TV, but I would have been way okay <laughs> with that. I would have been way okay with that. That's how they ended it. Yeah. But no. No. We're not done yet. So. John crawls out of the ice, uses the um, the sword. Uh, uh, what was it called? Claw. White claw. White, no. Um, long claw. Long claw. He uses the the pommel. The, the pommel to kind of pull his way up out of the um, out of the water. So he's not dead yet, but now he's soaked. <laughs> And it's like a bazillion below. Right. And they're still undead. Um, they're, it's actually, there's a shot with the undead. They're all kind of walking away or whatever. And you see this shape behind them. kind of. So you're not really even sure if it's one of the undead. Right. <laughs> or right. With, then they kind of zoom in and it's John. Okay. So he's frozen. Uh, and, and got a hold of the sword. <laughs> Come on, I can take y'all, you know. <laughs> no, you can't. And they they all turn around and they're like, oh, okay, he's still not dead, so they're going to come back after him. And then Benjamin comes through the line, swinging his ball of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Made small of doom. <laughs> Knocking him down. And, uh, and he rides up to... To John now, John doesn't. Brand's the only one that knows that he's still alive. Right. Um. And and he's like, you know, puts him on the horse and says, "Go." And he's like, "No, come with me." And he says, "No." So I think Benjamin's probably full undead now. Not oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um. But John rides off. Yeah. So, like, you know, he almost dies like 15 times in this episode. Yeah. And, like I said, my heart can't handle it. But he rides off, but he turns around and looks at the army again. And it was like another, like, reminding himself kind of the, oh, yeah, this is the this is what our fight is. Right? It, it was just like kind of the... No, I think he wanted to... I think he, he was mad that he couldn't stay and finish the fight. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's John. He's not happy until the fight is over. Until, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's a good point. That's and and good I point. think it was yeah. Like more, yeah, like sad that he remorse. The, the, the other thing I wanted to talk about with this scene was the overhead shot when they were showing the army all, you know, the the undead army walking out, yeah. right? Um, if you look at the screen as the top is north, you know, east, west, you know, that kind of thing. So if you look at if you look at as a compass and the top is north, they were going east. Yeah. So I I, I don't know. Maybe they're going. I don't know. It just it, I don't know if it was really a thing, but it looked like they were going that way. And and then they well get 
into that in a second. But I, I wanted to bring that up now because I think it's important later on. Okay. Okay. Um, so then it's back at the wall um, or at Eastwatch, and uh, uh, Danny is standing watch waiting for John. <laughs> And uh, Jorah's like, you know, we, we need to go. We gotta go. And, it's time. And some, was it the hound? Who took the undead? The hound had it over his shoulder, and Beric was with them, and Tormon. And they were walking down to the to the boat, the landing right? boat, right? And he throws it onto the boat. Yeah, and then they right. eventually all got on that boat. That was it. Right. Yeah. Because um, at first I was confused. I was like, wait, they're gonna. Take the so that was the first scene was the three of them going and taking it put put in the right. boat and then Danny and Jora are up on the wall on the wall waiting for waiting, John waiting hoping for John, John. Yeah. yeah she's got this look <laughs> on her face uh, uh, sad yeah sad yeah, sad, sad, sad it was uh, yeah it was sad <laughs> yeah um and then he he comes up you know right the a horse comes up to the wall. Yeah. John's like frozen, <laughs> hunched over, hunched frozen over. To yeah. The, to the, yeah. Um, and they put him on the boat and they break his clothes off of him because he's frozen, and uh, and get him all out of his clothes so that they can bundle him up and get him warm. And she sees all the scars. Oh. So now uh, they look like still. Healing wounds. They don't look like scars. They were, oh. and yeah, they were. But he's been mostly dead all day. He has been. But they also, I, I'm glad. At least in this point, I'm glad they didn't bring it up. I'm glad they didn't bring it up that he. She looks at him. Yeah. She looks at. She obviously. Well, she obviously looks at the scars. Yeah. And when he wakes up, and she's laying there, he doesn't make a point of covering him up. Right. So it, it was like it was like okay you've seen it here you go you know kind of thing but that's, more important thing to talk that was the most important thing that happened in that scene. <laughs> um, <laughs> so then they go back to Sansa and Arya, and uh, Sansa is sneaking through Arya's room and uh, and finds her faces. And uh, Arya walks in and catches her, and you know she's like, "Did she walk in, or did she just let her maybe set her own set herself up? I, maybe, maybe yeah. she's hiding behind the curtain. Yeah, yeah. Stepped out. Anyway, she catches her, and uh, you know she's like, you know, what, are you, "What are you, what are you, doing?" And Arya starts to try to play the game of faces uh, with Sansa, which I was like, but. She doesn't have a a, a, a switch a or what, yeah, yeah to, yeah. to hit her, yeah. but she gets it wrong. Um, and uh, you know, Sansa's is like, "What are these? What are these?" And and Arya's like, "Well, you know, we both wanted to be other people. I wanted to be a knight, and you wanted to be a pretty princess on the on the Iron Throne. And neither of us got to be other people, but." You know, I went and learned how to be. I, I went and learned how to be someone, uh, someone yeah, else. I yeah. can look like yeah. them. I can talk like them. I can act like them, and I can even look like you. Yep. All I need is your face. And she picks up the dagger, and yep. she walks over and stands right in front of her. And Arya is holding the dagger, like pointing out with her with it in her hand at Sansa, and and then she flips it over and hands her the handle. Yeah. And, and Sansa is like starting to cry. Yeah. Like, you know, like she's really going to do it or whatever. But yeah, she hands her the, the dagger. So. And she walks off. Arya walks off. So I turn to her and I says, Is this a I trust you? You need to trust me? Kind of scene? Because that's the only other thing. That's the only way I can, I, I can interpret that, at least with the information that we were given over the other, other scenes. Yeah. I, and that, I mean, that throws, if. Littlefinger's trying to um, get Sansa isolated. Right. Um, then, then that throws a monkey wrench in that. Right. Because I think actually Arya really cares for Sansa. Deep down, I mean, they, they've had their 
issues and arguments and stuff like that. But yeah. it's, you know, this is that sisterly love. But I really think that she actually cares for her, especially as the Lady of Winterfell right now. Yeah. And I think she's going to try to protect her, but maybe not in the way that Sansa realizes yet. Maybe. Well, and going back to Arya sneaking into Littlefinger's room last episode. Right. If it's really the the double. Yes. Yes, we talked about double, that. Double, double, double. Uh, then maybe Arya knows that Littlefinger is trying to drive everybody away from Sansa and right. get isolated, right. and so she's playing the part, but not enough to if, give him his way. If if she's playing the part, but she needs to get a message to Sansa. Handing her the dagger when she had an obvious chance to kill her and take her spot, handing her the dagger and then looking at her and then walking away is maybe a cl- maybe a message. Yeah. Uh, but I don't. In the grand scheme of things, I don't know. I mean, at least right now, I don't know. Yeah. But there's been no indication that that's actually the story, how it's going right now. Other than it's Game of Thrones, we know who Arya. What Arya has done in the past, and we know what Littlefinger's yeah. done in the past. So yeah. if you take A and B and C, it equals J. Fan, fan theories. J. <laughs> fan theories galore, <laughs> which is what this show is good for. Yes. Um. So then, <laughs> back to the boat, and John wakes up, and okay, time out. She rides the dragons from Dragonstone, north of the wall, saves them, comes back to Eastwatch, and then rides the boats back? <laughs> like, you can't, like, again, with time travel, like, like... Well, but you can't put everybody on the dragon all the way that, back. That's true, so. that's true, that's true. So, and John is hurt, or whatever, so... Hypothermic. Right. Right. So she's sitting on the side of the bed, and she's very happy to see the oh. Um He grabs her hand. Yeah, I mean, they, they have some conversation first, but yeah. um, he, he says, I wish we hadn't gone. And, um, and she's like, no, I'm, I'm glad we did, because now I've seen, and now I know. And seeing is knowing. And I, and I love the way she approached it that way, too, with the... I kind of believed you, but now that I've seen it, I know. Yeah. And we will do everything we can to stop the army in the north. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. To do that. Right. Um, and Which is a huge deal. Because yeah. I took that as, screw the Iron Throne. We have to get everybody together to go yeah. and kill the army at yeah. the north well, wall. Well, I mean, not north it, wall, but we need to kill the army of the undead. They killed one of my babies, so. Yes, and she uh, made a point of saying that, too. Yeah, fuck yeah. that guy. So, <laughs> he calls her Danny. He says something, you know, and he calls her Danny, and she's like, she kind of laughs and says, you know, nobody's called me that since, like, I think my brother. Mm-hmm. And um, and he's like, okay, so I won't call you Danny. How about if I call you my queen? What? <laughs> Just, like, casually in a conversation. Oh, by the way, I nearly died back there, and you saved my ass, like, six times. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm going to bend the knee. Yep. Except he makes the point of saying, I really can't get out of the bed right now. Yeah, but I, I would bend the knee, but I, I can't get up. But... And, the, and, and she questions him, like, like what about, what about those Your people, what about that, follow people, the people that follow you? And, and he makes the point of saying, if they see you as I see you, they will follow you. Yeah. And it was like, oh, okay, we had all of this for the last four episodes of them arguing over bit in the knee, and it's like a subtle little, like, eh, eh, you know, I'm going to bend the knee. Bend the knee. I'll do it. Okay. You're cool. I like you. You saved my ass. <laughs> Sorry, you lost a dragon. You saved my ass. I'll bend the knee. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy for it, obviously. And Danny deciding to go with them to to kill the the, the army of the yeah. undead. You know, I I, I I I really appreciate that. But but we kind of build up, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up for the for, for John to bend the knee, and then you just oh yeah, I I'm fine with it. Let's go. 
Jesus. Wait, fucking you want, like, I wanted, I wanted, flames and no, no, no. And, ah. I, what I wanted, what I really, really wanted was that he did it in the cave, and it was only the two of them that knew oh. it. And it doesn't yeah. count until later. That's why you're mad, because it blew your whole fan theory. Because, <laughs> They were gonna show, okay, so Danny, this is my, this is my fan theory. Danny goes up north, saves them, everything, whatever. They all show up at Winterfell with the three dragons, is what I thought, and and Danny's army to mobilize. And the in the north is the, the the northern lords are all like, we're not gonna follow her because she's not our king and or our queen. And he says, well, well I bent my knee to her. Let's go. But then never really showed it because in that way if something went bad, he could come back. But that none of that happened. <laughs> That's what I wanted so bad, but it didn't happen. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Stupid fan And then they held hands. And then they held hands. And it was awkward. It was because Danny reached for John and they held hands. And then there's the conversation, and then and then they like loosen his grips or whatever, and then John squeezed her hand, and then and then but Danny kind of made a point of like pulling her hand away. And it was awkward. Yeah, it was like yeah, it's like it's, it's, yeah. So then we go back up north one more time. I'm leaving. And you see all the undead pulling big chains. Big, big chain. And my husband screams at the TV. No, 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 no. And they're pulling the dragon out of the lake. And one of the White Walkers, I, was it the Night King? It might have been the Night King. I, I, I don't remember. Goes over, puts his hand on the snout, <laughs> and the eyes open, and they're blue. And they're blue. Roll the credits. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Okay, so we almost took Tormon in this episode. I was pretty sure Juro wasn't going to make out of anything of the sort. <laughs> Freaking John died, died, almost died like 14 times. Oh, by the way, we really do love... Danny and John really love each other. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, uh, they killed a dragon. I didn't think a dragon was going to make it this season, so I wasn't surprised that a dragon died. But now it's fucking... With the zombie, zombie dragon. Zombie dragon. <laughs> Does it shoot ice? Or blue flame? But it, I don't... It, it can't, right? I don't it know. I, it's got to be ice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good, great episode. They've been all out of the park. Yeah. The first couple were kind of... I won't say slow. They were really good episodes, but they were... They were build-ups for what was going to happen this season. And then, like, after freaking Danny shows up and it was episode three with the dragons and, and starts blowing everything up. That, like, since then, it's been like... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. And there's only, what, six or seven episodes next season. Yeah. Now, they're bigger episodes, but there's only, like, six or seven episodes next season. Yeah. Um, the, the reason I brought up the compass, they're going east kind of thing, is because when they were getting on the boats at Eastwatch... Go back to Dragonstone. The water was not frozen, right? But it has been kind of maybe frozen on the on the map at the beginning. Yeah. And so, if that's the plan for the army of the undead to go around the edge of the wall because the water is frozen, it's yeah, it's gonna have to. It's gonna it's have to gonna freeze, have to freeze over at some point in time <laughs> for all that to happen. Right. And, and that's been a popular fan theory throughout. Throughout the entire season, is, is that right. they're going east around the wall? Right. Well, it's not happening this season. I mean, uh, that's the last we're going to see of the undead and the White Walkers this season, because the, the I think we'll get finale, I think we'll get one scene at the end of the episode next week. Maybe. And I I think it's going to be them at Eastwatch. Yeah. Maybe. I, I really. I, I think they think they'll because I mean everything we saw in the previews is the G four summit that's going to happen. Yeah. G three summit, whatever we're going to call it. Um, but yeah, it's or Cersei blows the place up again. Who knows? In a in in, in something that we haven't done a whole lot, we're going to actually talk about the trailer for a second. The trailer 
showed Cersei and, and Jamie um, showing up for the summit, and John there in his full Night's Watch stuff, and that was it. They didn't show Danny. They didn't show the Hound. They didn't show anybody else. They didn't show Sansa or Arya or any any of that. It was just the three of them. Well, Sansa's not going. Remember, she sent Brienne. Right, right, right. But the, the there was the three of them that there were the only three that they really showed that were there at that summit. Yeah. Um, which could be that doesn't work. That right. It could be interesting with John pretty much saying, "Here's an undead." Unless then, Danny tells John, "You go and do this on my behalf," but I kind of Tyrion's gonna have to be the one that talks her into doing that. Don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Because they they talked about a little bit how how you know Tyrion was saying that Cersei is going to try to push your buttons. Yeah. So if you're if she's gonna push your bu- push your buttons, you need to be level headed. Well. You eliminate the whole process, and we said John instead yeah. as as your voice. Yeah. So um, John is never going to make a Winterfell. That's just my point. <laughs> it's never going to happen. <laughs> he doesn't gonna, want to be king anyway. He doesn't so. want to be king anyways, but you know whatever. Uh, so that was this episode of Beyond the Wall for Lord, uh, for Lord of the Rings <laughs> for Game of Thrones. Uh, Really, really good episode. Yeah. 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 Um, lots, lots and lots and lots in it. Lots and lots. And one episode left of the season. Um, and we got our shirts just in time. Uh, <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Uh, please tell us what you thought of this episode. Please leave us a comment. Talk about something that maybe we missed or maybe a different view of the world um, of Game of Thrones that we have. Also, like this video and share it with all of your friends. Also, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, we're trying really hard to push on past our 100, 100 subscriber point. And uh, and so we're pushing forward past that. So please subscribe to this channel. You can also find us on Facebook at the Pop Culture Cult or Pop Culture Cult One on Instagram. And we're at pop underscore cult one on the Twitters. We're also in the Stardust app, free app to download from your iOS or Google Play Store. Um, it's completely free. So your account for free. You can give you a chance to react to all of your Game of Thrones episodes that you watch. <laughs> We've been doing Defenders all day. Uh, but when you sign up for it, please like the Pop Culture Cult first and start reacting all you have. Until tomorrow, when we do the full episode, good night.